Hi, I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert and this YouTube channel. In this video, you'll discover the nootropic benefits of vitamin B5. Now, this is an update to a video I made on vitamin B5 a few years ago. In this video, I'll tell you what vitamin B5 is, where it comes from, and why experienced neurohackers use it. I'll share with you some clinical studies demonstrating the benefits of vitamin B5. I'll tell you how much B5 to use and what type to use, any potential side effects, and the best type of vitamin B5 to buy. So why should you want to listen to this video about vitamin B5? Well, because vitamin B5 is not just an ordinary B vitamin. It is known to enhance alertness, cognition, energy, hearing, vision, elevate mood, lower anxiety, and normalize healthy cholesterol levels. Sound good? Now, before we get started, please hit the subscribe button for my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps YouTube know to suggest this channel to someone else who may need this information too. And hit the share button so others can learn more about vitamin B5 and how it may help them with their brain health issues. Stay with me for a few minutes and I'll tell you more about vitamin B5. Let's get started. Vitamin B5, or pentothenic acid, is one of eight water-soluble B vitamins that are absolutely vital to the highly optimized brain and are essential to all forms of life. Vitamin B5 is found in every cell in your body, including your brain. The name pantothenic is derived from the Greek word pantothen, meaning from everywhere, reflecting the idea that small amounts of pantothenic acid can be found in nearly every food. Vitamin B5 is essential for the synthesis of acetylcholine. Adequate levels of acetylcholine can boost focus, memory, learning, and reduce brain fog. Vitamin B5 is critical for converting nutrients from food into energy, balancing blood sugar, reducing LDL or bad cholesterol, lowering blood pressure, preventing nerve damage and pain, and preventing heart failure. Vitamin B5 plays a part in the synthesis and metabolism of proteins, carbohydrates, and fats, turning them into energy that your brain uses to fire neurotransmitters in your brain. Vitamin B5 is required for the manufacture of red blood cells and the stress and sex hormones produced in your adrenal glands. As a nootropic, vitamin B5 is crucial for converting the choline in your nootropic stack into acetylcholine. Without adequate levels of B5, you will not experience the benefits of using precursors to acetylcholine like alpha-GPC or CDP-choline. Foods rich in pantothenic acid include animal organs like liver and kidney, fish, shellfish, milk products, eggs, avocados, legumes, mushrooms, and sweet potatoes. Avocados contain the highest amount of pantothenic acid among commonly consumed foods, with one avocado containing about 2 milligrams. Pantothenic acid is a precursor to the biosynthesis of coenzyme A. Coenzyme A is an essential enzyme in a variety of chemical reactions that sustain life. Coenzyme A as acetyl-CoA is required for generating energy from fat, carbohydrates, and proteins. This energy in the form of glucose is the fuel source for each cell. Acetyl-CoA is also involved in the citric acid cycle or the Krebs cycle in the synthesis of essential fats, cholesterol, steroid hormones, and vitamin A and D, and the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and serotonin. Coenzyme A derivatives are also required for the synthesis of melatonin, which controls your circadian rhythm and sleep-awake cycle, and for the metabolism of drugs and toxins in your liver. Vitamin B5 boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, vitamin B5 increases energy. Pantothenic acid is an essential coenzyme involved in mitochondrial aerobic respiration. Vitamin B5's role in the citric acid cycle or Krebs cycle and electron transport chain helps convert nutrients from food into energy, which is used to make adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. ATP is a fuel source within each of your cells. Pantothenic acid takes part in the synthesis of acetyl-CoA, which is at the heart of the Krebs cycle. 
In acetyl-CoA, your brain is also involved in the synthesis of cholesterol, amino acids, phospholipids, and fatty acids. Coenzyme A is also involved in the synthesis of the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and serotonin, and steroid hormones. User reviews of those supplementing with pantothenic acid claim to have more energy. This boost in energy comes from this long series of events stemming from pantothenic acid. And the second way that vitamin B5 works in your brain is it helps reduce stress. Pantothenic acid is often referred to as the anti-stress vitamin. Your adrenal glands use coenzyme A, partly from pantothenic acid, along with cholesterol and vitamin C to manufacture cortisol and epinephrine. When cortisol levels are low, your ability to cope and respond to stress is compromised. And if your cortisol levels are abnormally high, which is a common problem, your body's reserve of pantothene, the active form of pantothenic acid, needs to be replenished in order to sustain good adrenal function. Vitamin B5 has a reputation for reducing stress, anxiety, and depression. Chronic stress, anxiety, and lower acetylcholine levels can damage your brain. This damage can manifest in several ways, including memory loss, brain fog, anxiety, depression, and even diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Acetylcholine synthesis declines. Concentration, memory, learning, and recall decline. LDL cholesterol and triglycerides increase. HDL cholesterol levels decline. Wound healing takes longer. Energy levels decline. Numbness, tingling, burning sensations, shooting pain in your feet increase. Vitamin B5 supplementation can help increase acetylcholine, epinephrine, and serotonin levels in your brain, and help modulate cortisol levels produced in your adrenal glands, helping you cope with stress and lessen depression. When you take vitamin B5 as a supplement, it is converted to pantothene. Pantothene is a more stable disulfide or double bonded form of pantothenic acid. It is this active form of pantothenic acid that is converted into the enzyme coenzyme A. Coenzyme A plays a critical role in the metabolism and breakdown of three essential micronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Coenzyme A is a cofactor in more than 70 enzymatic pathways, including amino acid catabolism, fatty acid synthesis, and cellular division. Coenzyme A is a cofactor in more than 70 enzymatic pathways, including amino acid catabolism, fatty acid synthesis, and cellular division. Coenzyme A is a cofactor in more than 70 enzymatic pathways, including amino acid catabolism, acetylcholine synthesis, carbohydrate metabolism, fatty acid oxidation, heme synthesis, pyruvate degradation, amino acid catabolism, fatty acid oxidation, heme synthesis, pyruvate degradation, amino acid catabolism, fatty acid oxidation, heme synthesis, pyruvate degradation, amino acid catabolism, fatty acid oxidation, heme synthesis, pyruvate degradation, and phase two detox acetylation. Coenzyme A is also involved in the initial steps of cholesterol synthesis in all the downstream metabolites of cholesterol, including steroid, vitamin D, and bile acids. Coenzyme A helps break down the carbon skeleton of amino acids, which are metabolized to pyruvate and enter your Krebs cycle. This cycle is crucial for ATP synthesis within your mitochondria. Coenzyme A directs acetyl groups to form ubiquinone, squalene, and cholesterol. You also need coenzyme A for the transport of long-chain fatty acids into mitochondria where fats are converted into energy. The bottom line is coenzyme A is behind the production of hemoglobin, bile, sex and adrenal hormones, cholesterol, and the neurotransmitters acetylcholine and serotonin in your brain. Vitamin B5 is water-soluble and has been shown to improve mood, energy, and cognition. Neurohackers who supplement with pantothenic acid report being wonderfully optimistic, energetic, and mentally sharp. People report vitamin B5 helps them focus better. They feel a profound increase in energy and concentration improves. Many people dealing with acne find that their skin looks great. Acne is cleared within a few days to a few weeks of supplementing with pantothenic acid. Men and women find that supplementing with vitamin B5 helps prevent hair loss, and if taken early enough, may even avoid hair turning prematurely gray. Some neurohackers report that pantothenic acid helps improve vision and hearing. One hundred people of Chinese descent, 45 males and 55 females aged 10 to 30 years with severe acne, were treated with high-dose pantothenic acid. A total of 10 grams per day were given in four divided doses. Participants were also asked to apply a cream to affected areas with four to six times per day. The cream contained 20 percent pantothenic acid. Their face became noticeably less oily within three days of starting the therapy. Within two weeks, 
facial pore size became smaller and acne lesions began to heal, and the rate of new acne eruptions had slowed. By eight weeks, acne was usually controlled. Most acne lesions were gone, and new eruptions occurred only occasionally. The participant's severe acne required six months of treatment to control acne. The author of the study noted that in some of the severe cases, daily doses of 15 to 20 grams of pantothenic acid would produce a faster response. 35 patients were monitored for 18 months. The maintenance dose needed to control acne ranged from 1 to 5 grams per day of pantothenic acid. User reviews consistently show success with lowering LDL cholesterol and triglycerides and raising HDL cholesterol by supplementing with vitamin B5 or pantothene. The National University of Health Sciences in Illinois conducted an evaluation of clinical trials from 1966 to 2002 for studies using the pantothene version of vitamin B5 to improve cholesterol. 28 clinical trials with a pooled population of 646 subjects were evaluated. Mean age of participants was 50.8 years, and the average study length was 12.7 weeks with an average dosage of 900 milligrams per day of pantothene. The mean decrease of LDL cholesterol was 10 to 20 percent. The mean decrease of triglycerides was 14 to 33 percent, and the mean increase of HDL cholesterol was 4 to 11 percent. The researchers concluded that pantothenic acid was an effective therapeutic option in treating patient populations with total serum cholesterol levels greater than 200 milligrams per deciliter, or serum triglycerol levels greater than 150 milligrams per deciliter. The team noted that the full benefit of pantothene may not be attained until at least four months from beginning supplementation, and that pantothene is a well-tolerated therapeutic agent that deserves much more attention than it has recently received. Vitamin B5 is believed to extend lifespan, but research in humans for obvious reasons has been difficult. Humans live longer than most mammals, and, tra and tracking human subjects for life would be expensive. So animal research is the next best thing. A team in Austin gave 33 young male and female mice 300 micrograms of calcium pantothenate daily in drinking water. 41 control mice did not receive the vitamin supplement. The mean lifespan for mice who received calcium pantothenate was 653 days. And for the control mice, the lifespan was 549 days. The mice using vitamin B5 lived 19% longer. Royal jelly has long been used as a longevity supplement, and some of the science backs this up. Pantothenic acid is a primary anti-aging factor isolated from royal jelly. The combination of pyridoxine, biotin, and sodium yeast nucleate extended the lifespan of the common fruit fly and the addition of pantothenic acid further increased lifespan. It seems that supplementing with pantothenic acid or vitamin B5 will help you live longer. If you are using an acetylcholine precursor like alpha-GPC or CDP-choline in your nootropic stack, you should be using vitamin B5. And because B5 is needed to make coenzyme A, coenzyme A and choline are needed to synthesize acetylcholine. The recommended dosage of vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is a 1 to 2 ratio with a choline supplement. For example, 250 milligrams of vitamin B5 with 500 milligrams of CDP choline. And if you don't get enough vitamin B5, you may not notice significant improvements when supplementing with your preferred choline source. If you've added choline to your racetam stack and still get a racetam headache, it's likely because you don't have adequate vitamin B5 in your system. Pantothenic acid, or pantothene, is generally well tolerated in doses up to 1,200 milligrams per day. Some neurohackers report doses above 1,000 milligrams can cause side effects like nausea and heartburn. Oral contraceptives or birth control pills containing estrogen and progestin may increase the requ requirement for additional pantothenic acid. Use of pantothenic acid in combination with cholesterol-lowering drugs like statins or with vitamin B3 or niacin may produce additive effects on blood lipids. So be careful because you could lower LDL cholesterol to L unhealthy levels. 
Vitamin B5 or pantothenic acid is non-toxic, so it is considered well-tolerated and safe. The side effects are rare, but very high doses can include stomach upset, nausea, or diarrhea. If you're taking the antibiotic tetracycline, you should avoid using extra vitamin B5 because it could negate the effects of tetracycline. And if you are on cholinesterase inhibitors used for treating Alzheimer's, you should not be using vitamin B5. When choosing a vitamin B5 supplement, your basic choice is between pantothene or pantothenic acid. Pantothene is by far the more active choice when it comes to producing coenzyme A, and this is backed up by many clinical trials. Researchers have pointed out that pantothene creates twice as much coenzyme A compared to pantothenic acid. However, pantothenic acid does have its benefits. It enhances adrenal function and it modulates inflammation. So if you can, find a supplement that combines both. Vitamin B5 supplement labels will show pantothenic acid as calcium or sodium D-pantothenate, which is used for treating stress, migraines, and allergies. Pantothene is mainly recommended for lowering blood cholesterol levels, and pantothene is better for stacking with a choline supplement because it creates more coenzyme A than other forms of pantothenic acid. Pantothenol is a stable alcohol analog of vitamin B5, which can be rapidly converted to pantothenic acid by humans. And by the way, the Performance Lab Nutrigenesis Multi offers a nature identical form of vitamin B5 and is by far my favorite daily multivitamin supplement. I'll include a link to this multivitamin down below in the notes section of this video. So that's my report on vitamin B5. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to my website, Nootropics Expert, and search for vitamin B5. Or click on the link in the notes section down below in this video. Once you are at my website, Nootropics Expert, you'll find a full transcript for this video. And you'll also find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and contains details in 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And my four-time award-winning book, the second edition of Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements, is once again available. Head First, the second edition, is 962 pages, and it's available in hardcover, paperback, or for iPad or Kindle. You can get your copy at any major bookseller, including Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Balboa Press, Apple Books, Walmart, and others. You'll find a link to these stores down below in the notes section of this video. And did I mention that HeadFirst won four awards? You really need to get a copy if you haven't already. HeadFirst is available worldwide. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider booking a personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below in the notes section below this video. If you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.